Labor Day became a federal holiday in 1894. Chicago's violent Pullman strike was a major catalyst. The Pullman Company made luxury railroad cars and employed nearly 4,000 workers on Chicago's South Side. Facing lower wages and layoffs, Pullman employees went on strike. In support, the American Railway Union called for a boycott on all trains that carried Pullman cars. President Grover Cleveland sent 12,000 federal troops to break the strike. Thirty people were killed and dozens injured during the nearly 10-week strike. Just days after the strike ended, Congress and President Cleveland established the holiday. The first Monday of September was chosen as the day to honor the American labor movement. Nowadays, Chicago celebrates Labor Day with picnics, parades, and big retail sales. Rob Elgis, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.